guys, it's Becca and I'm currently having a mental breakdown over Game of Thrones. <laughs> so if you have not seen the recent episode, which is um, season 6, episode 4, then I suggest you do not watch this because I'm gonna be having a breakdown. Literally since last night, I've been losing my mind and my brain cannot focus on anything else. I blame Game of Thrones for ruining my brain, killing my brain cells. I'm probably gonna fail my finals this week because of this show. And some people, some of you might be asking, Becca, it's just a show, why are you freaking out this much? Couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you why I have such emotional attachments to things like this, but I do, and it's my downfall, and I'm upset. If you watch the episode, then you'll know that um, there are some great Brienne and Jamie scenes. Some great Brienne and Jamie scenes. It was great. Fan fantastic it was fantastic it was just great and then they went and ruined it they just went and they just they just they just went and ruined it they just went and ruined it so that's really cool i guess um it's just great this is just great this is what i get this is what i get for shipping this is what i get for loving something so much and again you might be asking becca it's just a ship it's a fictional relationship it doesn't matter <sighs> tell my brain that tell my brain that i wish i didn't care i wish i did not care but i do very much um hmm so like i've been like losing my mind over this like trying to figure out why did jamie do it i'm like like i don't think he did it to just be with Cersei. I think he did it for like more reasons than what is being shown. I think he's gonna go and try and kill her or do something to try and like slow her down or stop her. Like it just it just really just like seeing Brienne cry it just makes me wanna like lose my mind. <laughs> and seeing Jamie look so dead inside when he was like trying to push her away and like say hurtful things. I just like I just want to know why the writers decided to go and attack me like this. I want to know why the writers had to go and attack me like this. I just, I would just, I would, I, I'd love to know. You know, they had all this build up for Brian and Jamie for seasons and 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 seasons, and then they give it to us, and then they snatch it away. I don't even know what to say. I'm just losing it. There, a lot of things happened in that episode that made me mad, but I just, my brain cannot get off of the fact that this Jamie thing happened. I really can't do it. This episode, like, honestly, like, I don't think I'll ever be able to fully, like, watch this episode again. <laughs> I've never been this emotionally damaged from an episode of a TV show since the episode in The Walking Dead where Rick Grimes left his final episode and the Lucille scene in The Walking Dead. I have not been at, like emotionally damaged like this since then. Like I've cried and like had breakdowns, but like I got over it, you know, I got over them pretty quickly. This one is different because I lost sleep because of it. Cause my brain, I had such a huge massive headache last night. I couldn't fall asleep. I'm running off of like three hours of sleep. I'm running off of three hours of sleep right now. I have my final class today and then I have a final on Wednesday. I have a final paper to finish. I have a final lab to do and I have a final tomorrow. So that's just really fun. It's just it's just it's just it's just a fun time. And like the the silly thing is that I still love Jamie and I still love Jamie and Brienne as like a relationship because I'm dumb. I'm just dumb. So yeah, um cool. That's just really cool. Like Game of Thrones is so cool, so cool. I joined the fandom recently, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start watching after, after call, like after college, after finals, you know, so I can like, not be stressed about it during class and like, all and all that. And I decided to watch it sooner than that, and it's ruined my life. So that's really cool. It's awesome. It's just awesome. It's just awesome. So, this, yeah. Don't know why I am making this video. Don't know why I'm posting it, but it's. I need to let out my feelings, and if you're feeling the same feelings as me, please answer. Please answer. Don't make fun of me. People start making fun of me. I'm just gonna d 
disable the comments. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this episode had a lot of things that just made me really upset. Like, seeing, um, Daenerys lose so much in such a short amount of time. Like, she lost Jorah, she lost so many of her army, so many, so much of her army, she lost her best friend in such a in such a terrible way can I just say like <sighs> and Sansa was crying over Theon and everyone was just losing their minds like they were all happy and then they weren't and then I just I just I just <laughs> I'm really hoping that episode 5 is different and episode 6 is different than this episode because I really just, I need some. Like, I have theories about Jamie. Maybe I'll make like a whole separate video about that, but yeah. So, thanks for watching me have a breakdown over Game of Thrones. So, yeah. H have a great day. Bye. <laughs>